19th, we have a one-day new membership class. It's going to be taking place after church for three hours from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. And you will be able to ask questions and find out what it means to be Presbyterian, what it means to be a member here at BPC, what it would look like if you were a part of this family. We hope that you will consider, talk to your friends who you know might be interested. We would love to have you in that class. God bless you. is a year for us to get together as a church family. We have this new program called Potluck Presbyterians that we're really excited about where people get together and have dinner in people's homes. On March 8th, we had 10 parties all over the city and it was a really amazing night. We have two more dates coming up, one on April 12th and one on May 17th, and we hope you can join us and come sign up on the patio where you can be a part of this great ministry. Thank you. Men's Breakfast, Saturday, April 25th in the Garden Room. Guest speaker, Dr. Mark Baker. Come on, guys, it's a great chance for great fellowship. Join us for Wine and the Word, April the 18th. We will discover wines of South America and a delicious potluck dinner. Sign up today. All are welcome to hear Shannon McConnell talk about NASA's deep space projects, April 21st. One of our special offerings for the Easter season is the One Great Hour of Sharing offering. It will be collected on Palm Sunday and Easter. 50% will go to PCUSA Presbyterian Disaster Assistance, Presbyterian Food Program, and Self-Development of People. And 50% will go to Malawi, Africa, the Mbangwini Hospital and Nurse Training through the Medical Benevolence Foundation. We are visiting with Andy and Anne from MBF. So what is Medical Benevolence Foundation? You know, Roche, for 50 years, MBF has served to be the critical link between hospitals, nursing schools, and clinics in the developing country and the church in the United States. We served to partner with our international partners to build that relationship. MBF is that link between the church in the United States and the churches around the world who are working through medical mission work to improve the lives of people in countries around the world, including Africa, Haiti, and other places. So MBF is Brentwood's link to the hospital in Mbangweni in Malawi. Absolutely. Yes. And if I give money to the Easter offering, how is it going to make a difference in the life of someone in Malawi? Let me tell you a story of a woman named Beauty. Beauty was 21 years old last July when she gave birth to a daughter in the Mbanguini Hospital. Her daughter was born almost four weeks premature and at less than four pounds. Beauty and her husband Jones are subsistence farmers who make money once a year when they sell their crops. There would have been no opportunity for Beauty to give birth in a hospital had it not been for the funds that Brentwood provided. Beauty was able to give birth to her beautiful daughter. They remained in the hospital for three weeks as that baby grew to almost five and a half pounds. And then through the support of Brentwood, that baby went home with medicines necessary to be healthy, with a malaria net, with the other items that that baby can live successfully at home. In talking to Beauty, what she shared with Jack, our staff member overseas, is that she and Jones are so grateful that when they went home, they could focus on raising their daughter and not figuring out how to pay the hospital bill. My name is Holly Dickinson, and I have been a member of Brentwood Presbyterian Church since I was born. Last summer, I had the privilege of spending two weeks at the Akwandani Hospital in Malawi, Africa with the Medical Benevolence Foundation. In spending two weeks there, I got to see firsthand the profound effect nurse training and medical equipment has on the quality of healthcare given to the people in the surrounding areas. The ratio of patients to medical professionals is enormous, and MBF has been integral in providing nurse training, which has closed the gap. While at Equindeni, I got the chance to shadow in the maternity ward. It was so amazing to see all of the new mothers and their babies and see the great healthcare that was given to them. I even got to see the birth of a child, which was an amazing experience for me. I am so grateful for the opportunity that I had to travel with MBF to Malawi. The experience profoundly changed my life, and I'll never look at the world the same way again.
please give generously to the one great hour of sharing. We invite you to join us for the Maundy Thursday service on April 2nd at 7.30 p.m. You'll hear the world premiere of Requiem for Choir and Chamber Orchestra. We will also receive communion as we hear Jesus' message of grace. Hope you can join us. Please keep our youth in your prayers as they travel to Mexico to build homes for three families. The Guavera Hernandez family, the Canales Mokina family. and the Alcula Fernandez family. Please join us for Easter this year, April 5th, 8, 9, 30, and 11. And you could also invite a friend. <laughs>